I was doing my podcast the other day and I got some questions about churches and tax exempt status. I feel like it's a pretty important topic that should be talked about, so I decided to compile the clips and put them on my main channel. Should churches get tax exempt status? Where's the line? What is tax exempt status and who gets it? Should religion be a part of the school system? I wanted to give some examples from my own life about why it's wrong for religion to work its way into our school systems, in any capacity. When I was a young Jehovah's Witness, I had some pretty bad experiences in school because of how the schools promote certain Christian practices. It seems like it's just an insignificant and fun thing to include an elf on the shelf in your classroom, or to read Christmas books, or whatever, but it's actually damaging to some people. Let's talk about why. Let's get into it. First up, coming from Sharkin, uh, what do you think about churches, mosques, and etc. being exempt from tax laws? What do I think about churches, mosques, etc. Um, being exempt from tax laws? I have a really, really big problem with the fact that they're they're exempt from tax laws because in the U.S. they're they're basically a subsidy to give to a group that is doing something good for the public, giving something to the public that they wouldn't have otherwise. So 501c3 corporations like nonprofits can totally get behind tax exempt status for that. Uh, there's a no kill shelter near me that is tax exempt 100% for that, you know? They take these animals in that were owned by drug dealers and mistreated and cannot be rehomed like these dogs for example they are rabid because they've been so terribly mistreated so this no kill shelter will take care of these dogs for the rest of their lives just keep them away from people pretty much and they and they will not kill them i'm so 100 percent for that company having tax exempt status. It's a it's a government subsidy is, is what it is. But when you get when you come to religions, what public good are they giving people? What are they providing to society in all seriousness? Like think about Jehovah's Witnesses. What good are they providing to society? You could make an argument that some churches are going out and doing community service by cleaning up parks or whatever. And you may be able to justify nonprofit status for that. But what are Jehovah's Witnesses doing? They're doing nothing for society. They only ever help other Jehovah's Witnesses. They never help the normal, standard, typical public. I've told this story before, but just in case anybody's here listening who wasn't here when I told it, when Hurricane Katrina hit, I was a kid. I was like a teenager, very young teenager, like 12, 13 kind of thing. And there were some people from my congregation who were signing up to help rebuild homes in, um, in Louisiana. I, I think I ended up signing up, but they didn't need me. But in the end, I found out that they weren't going there to rebuild people's homes, actually. That's what they said they were doing. They were going there to rebuild Jehovah's Witnesses' homes, not standard, regular outsiders' homes. They never donate to any charities that are not Jehovah's Witness. They never do anything to help the outside world, only other Jehovah's Witnesses. And they, get their, they keep their nonprofit status by saying that they contribute to the public by helping them out like that. When I was in high school, I was trying to get volunteer hours for some class or something. They count that door-to-door -door knocking that they do as volunteer work. And I actually counted that in high school as volunteer work. That is a joke to me. That should, that should be illegal, seriously. They're, not, they're helping people by bringing them into the religion. That's ridiculous. They should not be able to count that as volunteer work. It, it really gets to me when I hear that churches have nonprofit status like that. It, it's a government subsidy. They should be able to prove that they're providing a, couple, a public good. Jehovah's Witnesses could not prove that if they were forced to. Scientology could not prove that if they were forced to. There are a lot of religions out there 
that would lose their nonprofit status if their feet were actually held to the fire like they should be? Uh, this one coming from Oriax. Telltale, do you think religion should be taught in school? If so, to what degree? If not, how secular should we make schools? Um, well, schools are an extension of the government. I mean, they're run by the government. So, and the government is supposed to be very secular. So I, I don't think that religion should have absolutely any place in school. Like, zero. Religion shouldn't be in school at all. If you want to talk about, like, the, the history of humanity and the psychology of religion in psychology class, uh, that would be okay with me. If you want to talk about the history of religion in history class, that would be okay with me. Um, if you want to present it as anything outside of just psychology or history, then I'm going to have an issue with it. I told this story recently, too, but uh, a while back, Kylie actually came home from school with a bring your Bible to school day, like tract or whatever, just a, a flyer. She came home with this uh, bring your Bible to school day thing. And I was like, Where, who gave you this? Where did this come from? She said her teacher gave it to her. I was like, that's just a clear violation of the establishment clause. You can't have a school promoting religious literature. Well, it turns out what happened was her teacher was handing out literature from a school-sponsored club, which is the Good News Club, the Christian Club. And that was legal. It was 100% legal to give out literature from a school-sponsored club. So there's your loophole. They found a way around that whole situation, disturbingly. But honestly, I, I'm just sitting here waiting for Kylie's school to overstep. And the moment they, they do something stupid that, that's actually questionable, legally questionable, I'm going to destroy them. I will give out the phone number of the school board in this area and start a phone calling campaign, the likes of which this school board has never seen in their lives. Their phones will be busy for three months. They will have tens of thousands of people calling in. I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for them to break the law. So, not a huge fan of religion in schools. Pisses me off a lot, honestly. Why are you skeptical of Kylie's school? Stuff happen? Stuff happens at her school sometimes. Like, for example, the, the Bring Your Bible to School Day flyer. They also had um, an elf on the shelf in her classroom recently. And as innocent as that seems, it's promoting one religion over another. How do you think the Jewish kid felt having a, an elf on the shelf in the classroom? How do you think the Muslim kid felt by that? Probably felt like shit. I'm not a huge fan of any kind of religious anything in schools because it makes people feel like shit sometimes, honestly. It hurts the self-esteem of some of the kids there who aren't Christian, like the Jewish kids, the Muslim kids, the atheist kids, because they are watching everybody in the classroom take part in something that they are not taking part in. I, let me tell you this story. I remember when I was younger, there was this whole Valentine's Day thing. Everybody made these little pouches, and they hung these pouches on the sides of their desk, and then they, they took, like, construction paper and made Valentine's for everybody. And guess who couldn't? Guess who had to sit there while everybody else handed out Valentine's to everybody else? I had to sit there and go through that. It sucks. It's wrong for a kid to have to sit through some kind of a, an event that they can't take part in, but that literally everybody else in the classroom is taking part in. And that's why I would, first of all, you should be sending them to the principal's office instead of letting them sit in the classroom and watch that shit happen. But if it's something like an elf on the shelf, what do you do? That, that, that elf is going to be there and you know, a part of the classroom experience for a couple of months. What do you do? You can't send the kid to the principal through the entire class for two months. You shouldn't be doing it. You should not be 
setting up any kind of religious practice in the classroom, period. I don't care how cutesy it is. You're isolating people, and it's wrong. The next super chat is from We Have a Little Faith again. Now I kind of want to see Kylie's school do something to violate church and state, just so we can watch Telltale, Telltale destroy them. Yeah, I would destroy them. Honestly, I thought about doing something over the elf on the shelf thing, but I felt like if I'm going to do a call to action for my user base where I want them to, you know, take action and take part in activism, it's going to be, it's going to have to be something more serious than an elf on the shelf. As pissed off as that made me. That teacher doesn't teach at her school anymore anyways. So that's some level of consolation, but it, it still gets to me a lot. Um, the next super chat, again, from We Have a Little Faith. Thank you so much. What does religion contribute to society? Let's see. Guilt, shame, self-hatred, and that sweet, sweet homophobia. Tax the fuck out of churches. 100% agree with you on that. If they cannot demonstrate a public good that they are providing to the public, they should not be getting subsidized by the government. And even that, honestly, it feels to me like it's kind of violating the Establishment Clause. Religion and government should be kept completely separate from each other. They should not be connected in any way, shape, or form. And the government is subsidizing religion right now, and that's a little bit concerning. But what can you do? If you like what I do and you want to make sure I can continue to do it, you can support me in a few ways. First, you can support me on Patreon. That's probably the best way. But if you want to get something back for your support, you can check out my Teespring. I'm trying to make a shirt design for every cult I've covered. I haven't gotten every one, but I'm working on it. So check it out and see if your cult is up there. Second, you can support me by checking out my game shop. I sell controller, cartridge, and game box stands for every system from the original Nintendo and Sega Game Gear to the Xbox One and Nintendo Switch. So give that a look too. And finally, if you want to support me in some way other than monetarily, you can check out my other YouTube channels. I have a retro game channel where I answer questions like, why does Shy Guy have a mask? And why are CRT TVs the best way to play retro games? I also have the podcast where I talk about stuff I don't feel I can say on a monetized channel. And finally, I have my main channel where I talk about cults. I wish I didn't have to worry about dancing around subjects carefully in the first place, but I chose to do this as a full-time job. So unfortunately, I rely on YouTube's AdSense and on the support of patrons to continue doing the work I do. Anyways, check me out in all those places if you haven't already. Thanks for listening, guys.